Hello, everyone. All right, we're, uh, I'm, this is TVT, and I'm back playing a, some more ARC. And by back, I mean here. And of course, I had to spawn in at night, because that's just apparently how we do in this game, which means I'm probably going to be sitting here for a hot minute, because I can't see. And yes, I, I do have a torch, uh, but it really doesn't help illuminate all that much. Uh, the map we're playing on right here is uh, Fjorder, which is the brand new free DLC that just dropped. <clears throat> what was it? Uh, five days ago? Something like that. Um, I'll have to I'll have to Google that later. Uh, that is that's a future a future TBT problem. Um, right now, uh, a little bit about the map. It is absolutely gorgeous when you can see it, and it also boasts the most amount of uh, paid DLC creatures on it. Um, actually, you can see there some of its beauty. I really like that the way it just glow the way that you can see the entire volcanic landscape over there. Um, of course, with a plume of smoke of that size, uh, probably would be wafting over here, and I would be in some deep trouble from the volcano right now, but uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, what do we got here? But yeah, I just, I wanted to play this game, so and I wanted to share it with the world, so here we are. I, I did make a little bit of progress, and uh, if you watched my very first video that I've ever posted, it actually shows a few minutes of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the same character. Um, I am running some mods, and those will be in the video description. Uh, but just know that they do add in some different, some different, but not necessarily broken dinos to make it feel like it's not vanilla like there is no godzilla w stomping around in on this map actually you can see a galley right in the back there <clears throat> but yeah things i uh wanted to get done in this video basically be try and get something i can ride around on so i could deal with this you can see my hold on I like how it has the name canoe just on your canoe. Like, I... I okay. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, I want to try to get more metal tools and uh, see about, you know, getting something tamed up. At least that's the plan. Um, I, I know that I could just go to a shipwreck, and I've played I played this map in its uh oop, well. <laughs> I played this map in its uh, original mod form a little bit, yeah, and uh, I know the shipwrecks are around. I could go to one, but I can't be bothered. So here we are. <clears throat> Actually, I really like the animation, <laughs> the way the canoe moves. It's really nice. I don't know if it would be that smooth. I have. In real life, I have gone on a war canoe, but that was with multiple people. And uh, the ocean was generally not quite as calm as you, what you're seeing in this game, let me tell you. It was it was a very different experience, and my arms felt like spaghetti when I was done, but... You know, it was fun. Oh, that's a C, that's a Nick Fiornis over there. We, uh, we love that. Kind of contemplating killing it, but I don't think I'm that I'm good of enough of a shot to hit it from land. Actually, this is really relaxing, just sailing around. I, as you can see, I'm uh, definitely not the most proficient canoe uh, boatsman. I don't know what the proper term for that is, if there is one. But um, yeah, we're getting it done. Yeah, the only reason I would go check out the shipwrecks is so, like, just so I can get a crossbow really quick, but I'm not sure if I even want to do that. When I could just, um... Actually, hold up. Do I have the crossbow unlocked? I should. Let me see. Nope, I need to level up once. I do have my settings up, and this is, like, turned up past normal, and this is in single player, so... You know, um... That should happen pretty quickly. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, yes, I can unlock the Dillo saddle. Yes, uh, one of the mods I have, actually, what it, what it does is it gives the, um, 
The Dilophosaurus... Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Put that away. <clears throat> it gives the, the Dilophosaurus similar um, size increments to fish, and I think the larger ones you can ride. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the cap on that is, where it starts, where it stops, but... If I see one and I happen to have any Trank Arrows, I will definitely be putting that to the test. Actually, I wouldn't be a bad starter animal that I will use for all of five minutes. But yeah, I, I've, uh, I, I'm probably not going to play this game vanilla a whole lot. Uh, definitely not for this playthrough, if that's even what this becomes. I'm not sure yet. You know, we're always trying to get through new things. Actually, wait, hold up. Uh, okay. Do I have to make that at the modded smithy thing? Better Dino's workbench. Okay, I think I do have to make it there. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Oh, no, I can make it here. All right, fantastic. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's... Well, that's certainly convenient. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna do that. Okay, I need, apparently need, no I don't, I'm good. Do I need food? No. I don't know if I have enough metal to make a crossbow, I don't think so. Oops. Uh, range, yeah that always gets me. Yeah, we are using S+, plus, as you can see. Uh, it's one of the mods I have on. I also have, uh, and these, again, will be in the description of the video, uh, the full list, but I know for sure that I'm using S+, I'm using Dino Storage V2, Arc Editions, uh, the full package there. What is going on? Okay, all right. You love the uh, case of the mysterious uh, floating Triceratops there for a second. Um... Also, yeah, right, actually, here's a great example. This is from the, I believe it is the Paleo Arc uh, uh, Legend Expansion mod or something like that, something like that. Let me just, yeah, Legends Ex Paleo Arc Legends Expansion. Um, you see, it's basically the same as your normal Triceratops or Trike, but uh, it's got different coloration. I'm not sure if it has any different abilities to it. Uh, it is registered as a different creature from the normal art for Garden Variety Arc Trike, as you can see there. Wild female, Paleo, Triceratops. Uh, the BD is from Kraken's Better Dinos, so I have that mod on too. Because, oh, let's be honest, some of the dinos, uh, or some of the creatures, uh, their abilities... Oh boy. <laughs> when they made them, they might have been something, but uh, just time has left them behind, and they could really use a TLC, but since they most likely will not get one, we have Kraken's Better Dinos to help with that. I.e., spiders can actually climb walls. Like normal, real spiders do. Yeah. Well, some of them, anyway. <clears throat> uh, sir? S sir? Okay. Alright. But it is that it is a very large species of- oh shit. Uh-oh. Nope. Get away from me. We're not doing it. You've gotta be kidding me. Ah. Uh, is he still on me? Nope. I don't think so. It's famous last words, but I don't want him taking my meat. Forget that. Okay, so over here, you can see a 
uh, a Bronto, a Brontosaurus, valiantly trying to protect itself from a uh, Rex. Uh, notice that I say Rex, not T-Rex, and that's because the um, the Rex in this game is not a T-Rex. Uh, if you know anything about the lore of this game, all the creatures in Ark, at, at least on the Arks, are not are, are genetically designed based off of real-life animals, but are not the actual animals. They are um, intentionally made different, which le leads to this particular Rex having a different scientific name of Tyrannosaurus Dominum, which is interesting because that translates to Tyrant Lizard Lord, when the actual... when it would... it's supposed to be bigger than the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is Tyrant Lizard King. So why is the Lord outranking the King in this case? Probably could have gone with Imperator or uh, Deus if they wanted to, but it is what it is. It works. Alright. There's that Pego, or there's one... Ooh, what we got there? That is another Pego. I'm not looking for one of those. See, is this the part where I have to cut away because this takes a million years to find something I want. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I might do some editing here and cut out some of this so we can get to the fun stuff, because uh, this is looking like it's going to be one of those situations where I'm going to have to spend more time looking for one of these things than I will actually taming it. Which is funny, because the last time I played on this, on this save file, uh, I ended up uh, running into, like, three of them in five minutes. It was kind of stupid. One of them did kill me. I'm not going to post that, but just know that it happened. Um, yeah, I see some movement over there. But again, I, I just love how you can you can even see Yggdrasil, the world tree. Just the silhouette of it in the back there. I love that. That's so good. <clears throat> I actually think one of the realms... Uh, this, this map, by the way, there's a lot of unique things about it from normal... A whoa, what? Uh, teleporting galley? Anyway. Where was I? Right. Um, this map has uh, several unique features about it. It's, it's actually in keeping with um, Asgard mythology. It has three different quote-unquote realms, if you want to call them that. Uh, it's got the one we're on, and I forget what its name is, but um, it's got Vanaheim and then Asgard and Jotunheim. So I'm sorry, that would be four different realms. Okay, there's rocks for some reason. I don't know where I got those from. Oop. Alright, I have to unlock the crossbow. Can I make a pike yet? I can unlock it. Okay, we're still making that.
Okay. Yeah, we got our we got our pipe, we got our um, wooden tools. I kind of wish there was a handheld flashlight. I I don't think there is in base game. I think you have to mod that. I know there's one you can get and put on your gun, but I kind of wish you could upgrade the torch to that and, and just get yourself a proper flashlight. It's a little bit brighter. Yeah, one that didn't you know would. But then they'd also have to add in batteries and kind of stuff like that. Yeah, I think, um, and then that would be fine. Sorry, I just got sidetracked as I came up with another thought here. Um, we got, um, these trikes here. I might try taming a mid to low level version of that, uh, one of them. Version? What? Um, wow, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Usually they are a solid berry gatherer, and I don't see any stegos immediately in the vicinity that I would feel comfortable approaching. Oh, there- oh, pff, well, I'm gonna die. Unless I can trick him to go after these guys. Not the time, buddy. Oh, I thought I was absolutely going to die. Finally saw the uh, Dilos over there, and then <laughs> suddenly there's the T-Rex just here. So yeah, there it is right there. I said I was gonna call them that, even though that's not what they are, the Rex. And you can actually see, just looking at it, it looks bigger than a T-Rex. Like it's, uh, I think it's a little bit taller and a little bit longer. I know I need to make a preserving bin. Okay, actually, what I should do is take out some of this, split it, put it back. That one's your fault, buddy. You just ran right into the fire. Don't even at me. Um, let's get my pike here. As far as the Dilo goes, uh, or the Dillo, Dilo, uh, I'm not going to bother with, um, you know, going for Prime, going for all that. Oh, hello. Oh, uh-oh. Get out of here. Sir? Sir! Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, that's different. That must have been must have been something new they put in. I don't know why they gave it a bird beak though. Oh, he's got a bag. Hey! Nine arrows! Actually not bad. Uh you actually uh, as I was saying with the um before I com got completely sidetracked and just com wandered away from him, the um the uh Diplodocus can be passive tamed, so I could do that, I just can't afford, or I'm not high enough level to make it saddle, much less use it. So, that's not happening. Okay, for reals. Maybe I'll just go with a f uh, one of these guys. Okay, so... Stegosaurus. As this is this is as you can see a modded one. It didn't have the solid coloration that the other one does. Uh, this is post a post TLC Stego though. Uh, one thing to note: uh, the real life Stegosaurus did not have uh, six spines on it. It on its, the tip of its tail, it only had four. I, I think the uh, the plates on its back are a little off too. I think they did correct the fact that they didn't match up on either side in real life, but it still has a few too many of them, which is fine. I don't see people counting plates. Uh, as far as size goes, I 
believe this is accurate. I'm not sure. I will say this is an absolutely beautiful animal with those colors on it. I really like that. I'm going to try to tame this one. Screw it. This is either going to go really good or really bad. Okay, let's see if I can get up to... When I'm taming something, I don't have the time or patience to make a trap for a single low-level Stegosaurus. Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Before I do that, I don't know if I can even afford that. Let's see. Can I even use the Stego Saddle yet? Why, yes, I can. I have to get a bit more hide, though. Yeah, and the reason, by the way, that I split up that meat earlier is so that I would have it in my inventory so it can spoil and I can make more narcotics with more spoiled meat. Okay. okay we're in a good position. Let's get down here, perhaps? Okay, I think he can actually get up here, but that's okay. Oh, yep. Okay, we got 16 regular arrows. That's enough to kill something. Uh, actually, I'm gonna consult Lord, Lord, uh, Lord Dodo Dex real quick and make sure this is actually enough for me to, um, for me to knock him out with, because sometimes Stegos can take quite a while to tame. I believe the uh, Paleo Arc version uses the exact same uh, features as the. Um... Okay, it's okay. Um. Oh wow, really? Noted. So apparently, it should take about five to eight. I'm sorry. F um, five to eleven uh, Trank arrows with a crossbow. Oh, hold on. I, for some reason, have that set to the wrong percentage here. Let's put that back down. Sorry about that. 14, 9 to 20. Just, wow, brain. Just have it a moment there. Yes, yeah, so it's going to take about 14 to 20, which is definitely within my margin of error. It's not the saddle I was planning to make, but hey, I'll take it. And this is not a high-level animal. This is just, oh, that was... You, uh, you, you, oh, just gonna take the, well, that's not gonna help me much. Why are you going into the water? Don't do that. Okay, we got a headshot. Did not get a headshot. Trying to avoid hitting the... Yep. I can't really avoid hitting the spine right now. Where you going, buddy? He's down. Actually, I didn't check what gender this was. Uh, this is a female, biologically, anyway. For all I know, it identifies as a fire truck. 76 Medjo Berry should be more than enough for that. Now, I don't have the proper saddle on me, so this is actually going to be interesting. I'm going to have to find a way to either make the saddle real quick, which I believe I can do here in my inventory, but that means I'm going to have to kill something. So let's go ahead and switch out my arrows. Oh, yeah. I also have taming settings turned up just because I don't like sitting and waiting for for half an hour uh, waiting for something to tame up. I've got better things to do, and it honestly is just going to, for the purposes of filming as well, it's just going to make life easier. And I see this uh, 
Pteranodon right here. I'm going to kill this real quick and try and get some hide from it. Uh, actually, we're going to... Let's check its... Okay, what... Um, one other thing with most pterosaurs that's worth pointing out as, as I'm thinking about it. Uh, a lot of them, it's not sh clear if the bigger ones were capable of taking off on their own or if they required, uh, actual, like, a, an updraft to do it. Uh, it certainly would have helped. Um, and also for a long time it was believed that they were only gliders. Uh, now people are debating that indeed they did use full-powered flight. Wow, that was... Oh, man. You gotta love arc animation sometimes. Just seesaw over the rock there. Um, sir, land, please. Yeah, I know I can bowl him from, from the air. I don't want to. I want him to land so I have a better shot at actually hitting him. There we go. What level are you? 95, I don't know if I can kill this, but we're gonna try. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think that's enough hide yet, though. I think I need a little bit more. As I said, it's gonna be interesting trying to get this thing back home, and I need to address... Actually, I think I have it here on my map. Um... Yes, I do. Okay, good, good, good. Give myself some more HP. Yeah, as far as engrams go, I generally, like, unlock them in, like, bursts. Like, I'll see it, like, oh, okay, I should probably go do that. So I'm just gonna unlock the water jar real quick. Uh, anything else I need? Nah, eh, not right now. Uh, where is he? Uh-oh. Oh, he's right over there. Okay. I believe I needed 200 hide for that. It's almost tamed up. Okay, I have... 32, I think? I usually call my first berry gathering dino something with Baronator or Baronatrix or something like that. Okay, we're gonna bring her over here. Relatively safe location here, so... I know, famous last words. Yeah. Uh, honestly, and this is why I tame a low level to start with, is that it doesn't matter, is that uh, while I will do my best to not have this happen, it is expendable. If it dies, it's it dies. I haven't lost that much in... Oh, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. I don't know what else is over here. Wow, really? I like how the party dodos... Uh, yeah, that is one over there. You can see him in his little hat. I am paranoid of jumping into any water system because of my many horrible experience, experiences on uh, the island, which is the first uh, map and the base game, and where the base game takes place with no DLCs. I am paranoid of that, of that with the piranhas, and if you've actually gone through that experience, you know exactly what I mean. Back in the day, uh, I think they changed the spawns on the piranhas, but back in the day, it was quite common uh, for me to get just swarmed by, like, 20 piranhas in the same location, at which point I was uh, dead as a doornail, for, for lack of a better term. I died many, many times to that. It was not fun. So, for those of you that don't know, or you're, you're new to the game... Uh, in Ark, when you tame a creature, depending on its base level, it will get a number of extra levels based on the taming effectiveness. And for most creatures, like the Stego here, 
that depends entirely on what kind of food you give it um, and whether or not it gets hurt while in the taming process. Actually, it's just me or just the saddle look a lot better. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot about it. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, the Stego. One of the reasons why I love this dinosaur as much as I do is that it has three different modes to its plates. Like you can see there, I just changed it to that. Um, let's see, what's this one? Sharpened plate. And uh, each one does different things. Uh, I will have to look into what those do. I forgot. I know one of them is like, yeah, great right there. Great for berries. Hardened plate is the base one, and I think that just ups your defense. Uh, heavy plate, I, I don't know. I'll, again, I'll have to look it up. I'm not, I'm not clear on it. Um, but I know one of them is quite good for harvesting wood. See, that right there is not that one. That is the sharpened plate, I think. But boy, is it good for harvesting berries. Alright, we're going to give myself... i got plenty of weight. I'll give myself melee. And two health. Yeah, see what I mean? The stamina on lower level creatures tends to be pretty bad. Which is no fun in this situation. Yeah, you can see the Bronto right there probably got in a fight with a Rex. Actually, it did. That's what I was looking at earlier. I just thought the Rex actually uh, didn't survive that encounter, but it did. get a fair amount of stamina for that, so it is worth it to invest some levels into stamina. Now, the only issue I do have with the Paleo Arc mod is that when it's active, this creature, the uh, Paleo Arc Stego, is different from the from the non-Paleo Arc Stego. And what that does is it means that certain animals don't get mate boosts. So, like, like it counts them as different species. So... Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, we had a raptor there for a second. I'm like, I'm gonna try and tame that. I've been riding around on a raptor in a while. It's a Packy right there. Packy Cephalosaurus. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this animal is fairly accurately done. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it had the plates lining its back like that, but artistic liberties. Yeah, I think I'm gonna relocate my, my temporary housing to this spot right here. I didn't have any tames over there, and uh, if, I, uh, if I need to, I can get more stuff. ourselves a Sarko right there. Okay. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're going to try it anyway. 
I don't have a choice. I have to fight him. Now, the Stego can do this little impale thing, which is actually really, really disgusting, as you can see. It does a lot of damage. But, um, unfortunately... Oof. Yeah, he hurt. He hurt a little bit, but uh, we got him. That's one of the advantages, actually, of, of having a, a saddle, even a even a even a crap one, on your dinosaur. It's, it just gives them that little bit of armor. Although I think a Stego would have fared quite well against a Sarcosuchus in real life. The real life Sarcosuchus was was a definitely a formidable animal, but not. But it primarily would have fed on fish more than it would have a heavily armored dinosaur, and they didn't even live in the same time or location, to my knowledge. And I got at least one level out of that. Oh, another thing about the map. Wow, I'm just all over the place with this one. Um, about this map right now is that um, it is the first... Um, the uh, No, it's the first free DLC map to have something akin to Explorer Notes, and those take the form of the runes, which is that little symbol right next to the cold icon on my screen there on the bottom right. Uh, the red spidery looking thing. I haven't run into any runes yet, but uh, I know they're out there. Okay, here's another. I think that's from the uh, Kraken's Better Dinos mod, the Toughened Hide there. Oh, I got some Prime out of that too. Nice. Put that in my... Yeah, see? But yeah, the runes uh, give you the same XP benefit, uh, XP boost as Explorer Notes do, but they also have the added effect of... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The added, the added effect of you can gather them and use them to get to the bosses as, as long or on top of the required artifacts. So uh, definitely something we're going to need to do. But that's uh, definitely going to be in a future video is when we'll start doing that. Right now, I just want to get myself set up properly. Preferably without a without a Rex coming and chasing me off. See there, I got it right that time. Um, okay, we're gonna make how many of these do we need? Now I'm just gonna throw down some thatch stuff real quick. Or no, apparently I'm gonna throw down some wood stuff. That's just that's just fine. And I need 47 more fiber to do that. Nice. Uh, Baronatrix already has doubled her level from when I first got her. Uh, that's excluding the nine levels that she got from the Taming Effect Mist. Now, as I was uh, about that, things that harm your creature, like if you get if it gets hit during the Taming process, that will drop its effectiveness. Um, not having running out of the preferred food in its inventory will also drop its effectiveness. Uh, and what you do, what you do in that situation is, depending on how many levels it's lost and how much you care, mm, excuse me, you're going to want to just let it wake up and then have yourself a grand old time from there. Let it wake up and knock it out again. There you go. That's the words I was looking for. I'm just uh, making that. So, you know, excuse me. Get out of the way. How much stone do I have on this guy? Not much. All right. And grab some stone. We have plenty of wood, thatch, and um, and fiber. Yeah, I think I'll build a temporary house here. At least like a little a little 4x4, four four, I think would be fine. At least enough to get started. Just gonna gab gather some more fiber, get some flint, and some stone.
Wow, this sounds pretty satisfying when it's on um, on headphones. I gotta say, that's pretty nice. Um, hopefully, in the future, in the near future, I can go tame some other creatures for you, like the uh, Antrusarchus that's on this map. Uh, I heard, uh, I've heard and seen that those look pretty fun to tame. I got a little mini game like the Equus, except it's um, a lot better than the Equus's mini game. Oop, no, we don't want that. Uh, part, that's part of the S Plus mod, is, is pulling materials like that, or at least it used to be. I don't know if it's uh, in the main game now, but... Wow, I actually had enough for both of those. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, I have to. I should actually attempt to go back to my uh, little house and try and steal some materials. So I think the name of the game is going to be to go do that and uh, see what other trouble I can get up to along the way. That'll do. Uh, I probably won't put up walls on this, and if I do, I'll have to move this out of the way. Okay, we'll put that in there. All that extra flint can go on the stego. Okay, we're going to put the... Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's, put, let's put that to work. Let's put this to work, making me some stuff. You can have the rest of these berries. You can have my saddle that I'm not using currently. What is that? That is a packy. Okay, we're fine. Wow. All right, let's go. <laughs> That was uh, more than I expected. Okay, where is this in relation to my old house? Uh, actually, before I go, I better make a couple of storage boxes. Okay, now we can I can come back and organize this a little bit. I'll do that off camera. Um, I will play some of this off camera just because uh, I really am excited for this DLC. So I'll probably get us to a bit more of a uh, exciting place to get more to get some more footage. Uh, that might be today. That might not. Hold on. Okay, I'm just checking the water. See what's down here. Nothing of note. I thought I saw a shadow behind the waterfall there. Actually, I'll take the saddle off of you. Yeah, I'm leaving the prime on the stego because it's... Uh, oh, well, I shouldn't have done that. You can have that back. Nice. Okay, so where on the map is this? Okay, right near the metal node. I should be able to find it. Uh, here's what we'll do. Oh, that was an accidental whistle. Um... Let's just see if I can find my way back so I don't need to try and put coordinate uh, coordinates on there if I don't have to. Okay, yeah, this should be pretty easy to figure out. 
And I'm just gonna go back to my house and try and salvage some of my stuff. Maybe grab some extra materials if I can. I might even try and um, tame up that Dilo that I saw. Although I don't see it now. And uh, at this point, anything I lose doesn't matter. Like, I'm not... Actually, uh, losing my metal tools would suck. But I can always get that back again. Uh-oh. Okay, the Rex is there blocking my path. Let's see if we can slip by this guy. That looks like a normal size Dilo, so I don't know if I could even ride that. Oh, that's three party dodos in one area right there. That's pretty funny. I don't... Oh. Oh, he's on the move. That's not good. Just want to keep him in sight while I go over here. Yeah, for real. Really? It got damaged? Well, I can't, uh, can't pick th either of those things up, so here we are. Just give me that charcoal. Okay, see what I mean? I mentioned this earlier with the Dilo having that little size thing right here, just real quick. Um, see how it says, uh, like, bar 0.5 times on this little guy right here? And then this one right here is uh, bar 1.3 times. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was referring to, and you can see the obvious difference in size between them. Uh, it's the same with uh, a lot of the... Oh! Nope! Why is that there? Okay, he, he can kill me. I don't care. He's gonna lose a little bit of stuff, but... Yeah, I can just get my stuff back. I don't care. Yep. Yeah, no way. No way am I fighting that with that stego. Forget it. <laughs> that was a 140. Oh, man, that's... Oh, boy. I would like to get my stuff back, so I'll see about doing that. Um... Not sure if I'll do that on or off camera. I'll give it another... I'll give it another try. See if I can't get my materials back from that. I actually at least want to attempt it because I want to get my canoe back. So. Oh, come on. You've got to be joking. Well, that Rex should be... F oh, man. That's bad.
Ugh. Am I seriously about to ch get chased out of my house by another Rex again? Ugh. Come on. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're going to kill him. They're, uh, he is going to die. He is absolutely about to die. Unless he gets out of this world lucky. He, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Although, he might take one of them down with him. Ugh. That sucks. Yeah, see, sometimes carnivores just auto-heal when that happens. I don't think he healed up fully, but he healed up enough that he was able to withstand that. Okay. Now, what I could attempt to do is lure him to the Bronto, who is more or less healed by now. But, alright. So right now what I'm just trying to do is trying to get to my to my oh to my materials without dying and there is You know what's funny is that the spawn area is supposed to be easy but that's like the third rex I've run into. Oh boy. All right. Well, I I think that's going to be about it for this for this recording. Um future me will have to edit in uh, edit in an outro there. I'm definitely going to be splitting this up. But, uh, yeah. So, alright. It's been a pleasure. We didn't get a whole lot done, but we did get to, to see a little bit of the map. And, what? What? Uh, that man just glitched through part of a rock. Okay. I think on that note, I'm going to call it a video. I will, uh, I will see whoever watches this next time. Drop me a like if you enjoyed it. Bye.